welcome friends once again to the channel uh, now in today's tutorial or lesson uh, we are going to see how we can draw this basic 2d drawing in autocad okay so before we start let's get the dimensions clear and then we move on now if you look at this thing it's like a pulley or something so let's see how best we can easily design it so let's start from here you could see we have um a radius a diameter here that is the outer diameter is 90 millimeters and then the second one is 84 millimeters then we have this one inner one that is 80 okay and if you look at this center there's a you have two circles here one the inner one is having a diameter of six and then this outer one is having a diameter of 14 so we will just start from the inside here diameter 6 and 14 and then we see okay so just go to your drawing do your draw two by and then just select circle and pick center diameter all right because we are dealing with diameter and click anywhere the diameter for the first one is six so just enter six now zoom out now we can press enter again to repeat the same command for circle now we want diameter this is in radius so just click on diameter and then enter 14 good so we are done with this one now let's tackle the inside one we have 80 uh, 84 and 90 so let's do that Eighty pick eighty four and repeat again ninety. Okay, so we have this also done. Now let's just get to the difficult aspect. It's not that difficult. Now, if you watch carefully, you can see three radius here. We have 27.5, 26, and then 24. All right, all on a vertical, uh, sorry, on a horizontal line. So let's start with the middle one, which is this radius of 26. All right, so just pick um, center radius. Now, locate from the center anywhere, just click. And then enter a radius of 26 yeah press enter now remember if you look at this center line it's really meeting at the center here okay so what i'm going to do just select it and then use the move command on you can or you can use m just type m for the shortcut move press enter now select the quadrant okay of this uh better so you can just select here move then to ask you to select the base point now i don't want to use the base point so i'll just select the quadrant and then move it to this side just make sure it's at the center so we have our first center line that is this one okay so the same thing now for you for the beginners not to get confused i'll just use line to help draw this all right so now we have this center here so i will just draw a line moving to this direction that's the left direction 1.5 and then moving to the right direction also 1.5 so in all we have a line of three okay so let me just draw so that i understand select line locate the center okay even before you just draw anywhere three okay let's move the line select press m move it select the center then locate the center of this circle and put it there good so that our next arc will be drawn on that so the radius is 27.5 from here so we'll pick center radius at the end here 
enter 27.5 so you see we have that and then the next one is uh, 24 so also center radius come to this end enter 24 so if you can see we have everything done now let's trim so use the shortcut tr for trim press enter and you can trim the on necessary lines good let me delete these ones all right now let's add some uh, tangents or fillets to the work if you check this side it's having a radius of 10 so i'm going to use the tan tan radius which is here so say specify points on object so i'll pick here and here enter my radius of 10 and then that's it so let's trim good now the second part is at the top here we have a radius of 1.5 so the same tan tan radius i just pick here and here and then 1.5 millimeters let's trim all right now i think we can trim the unwanted lines let's delete good now this line we can change it to center line later so let me leave it there and trim this one so good so let's change this line to center line so just click on the line right click go to properties and you can see line type over here you can just change it or if you don't want to do it here there are so many ways that you can do it let's just go to uh select the line then come here go to order and then load since we don't have it there now let's load the center line so i'll use this one okay select it again okay now select come here and then select center line all right good so now let's try and mirror or oh, sorry let's try and rotate we have one two three four five five numbers of this design all right so i'll just select all the parts i need including this yeah and then go and select array just go to polar array so ask you to select the center point that is here now how many number items do we need we need five so just enter five all right then close it close it so now you can see we have the five so let's do some trim in trim uh, now you see because we did the array all of them are together so it will be very difficult for you to edit one now if you want to edit just select all of them and then uh, you can select explode which is shown here or you can just use the x command x and just press enter so it will just make it individual now you can edit all of them individually so let's trim let's trim the parts that we don't need uh, Okay, carefully trim them. Okay, now I think we are done. But there, there's something we have to do. If you check here, there's a radius of four. So we'll use the same method, tan tan radius. Click here, click here. Enter four. Let's trim. okay 
so we will use the same polar array to get our numbers for this so select it go to polar array select here and then enter 5 over here just close it and we do the necessary trimming let's trim here carefully do that okay so i think that is it now let's trim this side So if you check our work, it's almost done. But I think I have to reduce this. Uh, let me reduce. The, the center line, I just want to reduce it. So I'll just go to select this particular center line. Then I'll just right click, then I'll go to select similar. Alright, so you let me just select this one and then work on it. Since I want to use, you can use any, let me use short dashes and see if it will be fine. that is a bit better okay and I'll change the color for you can even leave it like that all right so for now let's just increase the line width of our work now we need to add some dimensions to the to the work so let me just reduce the line width and then we, we try to add some dimensions okay now we need to add some dimensions to our work now to do that i'll just create a, a layer for that so just go to layer properties okay at the layer tab here and then just go to new click on new and give your layer a name i want to give it them you can change the color if you want i'll use this color and just click ok now let's start with the dimension so i'll pick from the annotation tab and then i'll just select diameter then give for the outer side but before it takes effect remember you have to select your your dim layer all right so select this one now seems you let dimension then select the inner one again you will try and reduce the line width for the dimensions they are too big and then the inside one which is this 80 now let's dimension this radius here so pick radius and try and dimension this side let me make it clear here that you can understand it okay 1.5 all right then this side is four good and uh, we have this two diameters right then we even have one radius here let me do it good and then from there we have a diameter two diameters 
this and then the inner one okay now if you check mm, we are almost done now we have to dimension these axes there are three in also radius click this first one then repeat again for the center line then repeat again for the last one okay so I think we should uh, reduce the line width for the dimensions seems too big and not nice so I'll just select them all and then just go to properties and I'll just change the, the line width and it becomes smaller okay so now let's try and position them well so that it becomes a little bit nicer just click and then drag it up now let me position this one here and this also here okay so that we get a clear view of what we are doing bring this here okay good so basically this is what we are expected to now remaining one more thing that is the distance from this side to this side is three okay so now you can see the work is nicely and neatly drawn now don't forget to subscribe to the channel if today is your first time and please if you have any question leave it in the comment section below and then i'll make sure i attend to it and see you in my next